everyone. Today we're diving into Microsoft Copilot in Azure. We're going to talk about what it is, how it works, and how you can control access to it. So stay tuned. Microsoft Copilot in Azure is like having a super smart assistant in the cloud. It's an AI powered tool that's all about making your life easier when you're working with Azure, uh, navigating the portal or using the Azure mobile app. Now, keep in mind that at the time of recording, Microsoft Copilot in Azure is still in preview. And that means that it's like a sneak peek at this point. And there are some extra terms of conditions that you got to check out before you jump in. And uh, the details are in the link below. So this Copilot in Azure can be a real lifesaver. It can be a time saver. It knows a lot about Azure's services and resources. It has access to all of the information about your environment that are contained within the Azure resource graph. It's like having a cheat sheet for the cloud for you. Uh, you can ask it question about your environment. You can have us get questions about the best way of deploying things, the best scenario or the best services for a specific scenario, but it will give you answers that are tailored to your own Azure resources. And it will give you answers that are tailored to your own Azure resources and more specifically to your level of access. That means that Microsoft Copilot in Azure can only report on the resources that you have access to. It can only take actions that you already have permissions to perform. And if you do ask it to, to perform an action for you, it will require a confirmation before making any changes to your environment. Uh, so therefore, it still complies with all the existing access control methods uh, that you may have in your environment. So protections such as uh, Azure role-based access control or RBAC, uh, privileged identity management, Azure policy, resource locks, and so on. So you can chat with Copilot uh, right in the Azure portal or go to the Azure mobile app. It's right there as well. Um, it's like texting uh, with a friend who can do your homework for you. Oh, and to use Microsoft Copilot in Azure, you might need to have a chat with your network administrator or your security admins about WebSocket connections because it will require a WebSocket connection to directline.botframework.com for it to work. So that's required. Uh, now let's dive into controlling access to the Microsoft Copilot in Azure. So by default, everyone in your tenant gets to play with Copilot. Uh, but as a global administrator, you've got the power to manage that access. If you want to give a specific user or specific group a sneak peek, no problem. So let's dive right into the demo and I'll show you how you can control access to Microsoft Copilot in Azure. Now, if I'm logged in as Joseph, which is a um, person with just a reader access to the subscription and say, please list all my VM because I have reader access, I can see all the VMs and that's fine. But if I go and say, start all my VMs, uh, because they are now all stopped and deallocated, you'll see that uh, Copilot star starts determining what to do, figuring what the intent is, and wants to uh, start them. So it'll say, okay, let's select the resources. I didn't specify uh, the VMs. And it tells me that I do not have authorization to perform this action. Now, to manage the access to uh, Copilot for Azure, by default, it's available to all users. So let's turn that off and then click Manage Access. And it takes me to uh, access control. And if you see in the roles, I have a Copilot for Azure role, which basically gives access to Copilot, but it's uh, not assigned to anybody but me right now. So I will add a role assignment for Copilot for Azure users, click next, and then select uh, as member a group that I have pre created called Copilot users. I select that group and uh, give some description because we all have to uh, document our things. Click next and review and assign. And now the assignment is done uh, for this role assignment. And if I open the Copilot user, 
uh, my group and view the membership, you'll see that Joseph is not part of that. So let's go back there and open Copilot, and you see that Joseph no longer has access to Copilot. So now that we've looked as to how you can control the access to Copilot in Azure, uh, let me remind you, because it's very important, that it will only help you do with the stuff that you already are allowed to touch. So you've already got access to certain data and resources. Cool. Let's get to work. But if it's locked away from you for any reason, uh, if you don't have rights, Copilot will respect that. So there is no sneaking in or anything. It's all about keeping things above board. And uh, this was it for, that's a wrap for this episode of IT Ops Talk on using Microsoft Copilot in Azure. And uh, like and subscribe, stay tuned to this channel for more episodes and updates. And with that, we'll catch you in the cloud. Cheers.